Okay, so let's go in here. Let's rough up our hand there like this, and let's put this hand like this. Okay, so we can see that the arc is is coming down. It's or not? In a drag. Okay, life is a drag. We're having that on the on this finger coming this hand coming off the hips okay so this is one third of the way and this is two thirds of the way okay so that is the variable breakdown of there so let's have a quick look at that and see what's happening to our animation there ba boom but boom okay you see the, the 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 sudden jerk in her hand there like that what we've got but we've got it coming off the hip and coming yeah. up and actually if i wanted this to be to be disney timing um i would not leave the third i would have this on i would have it on twos i would okay. not leave that third on in between i would go okay. on twos hair and go on twos hair and i would have one one in there you see many yeah. um you know some people like to use skid marks and smears yeah uh shit stains <laughs> to, 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 to do that movement but for me it will spoil this beautiful subtle <clears throat> animation so i'm going to use a half on a one there to get that effect okay which will keep in with the soft uh well-timed nature of the <clears throat> animation so um What's going to happen here is now I'm going to think about the other arm. So the other arm, the other hand is down here. Mm -hmm. And here it is up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are we going to do? Okay. Well, in this case, I think I'm going to have it on a half. Okay. Two reasons. One, it's the easiest, clearest thing to do. To reintroduce the hand and two it'll stop the twinning effect because this hand is closer to the hip and if we have this hand on a half twinning. it's not closer to the hip which means that we have offset the hand okay we have offset the hand right we have offset that <laughs> So that is very, very oh important. Okay, that is another thing that we need to think about when we are doing this. So this is going to be a half, and I'm going to arc it maybe like this. And again, though, I'm going to think about dragging it. Okay, so I'm going to think about keeping those fingers just a little bit closed like that and opening it out like that to stick in with the posing. So, um... Let's just uh, put that one in there, and then we'll go on to the tail, and then we'll lock this baby down, okay? Right. So, let's put this like this, and we'll talk more about the drawing of, of it when I come to locking it down and, and keeping it into... We did that in the other lecture, to be very honest with okay. you. Uh, so, I'm just mainly in this one covering variable breakdowns okay. and spacing. Okay, so now we can see how this is coming together. Okay, we can see how we're getting that. So the only thing left, if we look at that, um, let's turn the other one off. Boom. Okay, so bingo. Okay, bingo like that. The only thing remaining is the tail okay now again we need to think about the tail okay, okay? Yeah. Uh, we need to look at the acting she's getting shot right. okay mm -hmm. she's getting shot and we want to think about what it is that we want to do with the tail okay um now i'm i want the animation to be subtle but if i look at my space between subtle. the tail I do not want to say, okay, well, just like the way uh, a robot 
computer would say choo 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 programming zip zip tuck 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 this is where the first key is this is where the second key is yeah what i'm going to do is i am going to plonk this one in between the two of them and bingo i have motion it like an idiot okay so right so that is um that is just Halfing it boring like that. Okay? And look, it almost looks like it's growing into position. It's just crap. Okay? Yeah. We don't want to do that. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. What we want to do is again take the acting, the illusion of life into principle here. And we want to think, well, if she's kind of like straightening up in this pose, um, and she's kind of surprised, we want to have that, maybe think about that effect in the tail. Okay, so okay. let's shoot that tail out like this. Okay, oh, and remember, I see. If we remember the construction of the tail. So was we have like tail this. like okay. so. so. Then we look at that. We, we'll just have something there in one key, and we'll change it. On and then we have like, that. like okay. so. And this, like okay. This. Okay, and then we might even want to open that out a little bit, something like that. Okay, and then if we look at that what we're doing is we are creating an arc on the tail okay which is which is going something like this okay so what i'll do is is i'll very quickly um, work that tail and uh, rough that tail and we'll go straight into getting the um, getting it to we'll go straight into locking it down and then recap all okay. the spacing that we've been working on on this breakdown. I might even break the tail up a little bit here just to um, okay. emphasize that effect. To take the, to take, to make it Yay. not wild, uh, just enough, just subtle. Okay, okay. subtle stuff. Okay, that's right. Yeah, this is Maybe reminding me of like 80s stuff. Has not really really look properly on that. Oh, okay. Where is it on the other oh, one? so we have some it's fluffy oh, areas okay, here. Yeah, so I animated the end of it. Okay. All right. It's going to be there. You see how the lines affect you? Right, yeah. So it's going to see how it's doing that now. It's it's going this way. It's arcing this way. And what's the spacing on it? Okay. The spacing I would put on a half. Tip of the tail. Let's explain why. Tip of the tail is hair. Tip of the tail is hair. Okay, so X, Z, and tip of the tail is hair, Y. Okay, so if we draw an R between them, let's just change that color to yellow and then draw blue. So if we draw an R between them and we have X, Z, we have we'll it. see the Y and is then hair. X. Okay, which is a clear halfway okay. between them. Okay. Right. Um, so there, that's the tail. Um, you can see um, the arcing, the law of arcing, and the law of spacing, uh, uh, timing. This is under timing when it comes in in the the laws. They don't use the word timing and spacing. They use slowing in and slowing out to talk about spacing of at either end to create weight. But this kind of spacing is to do with the timing and the arcing, okay? Law of arcing. So let's just have a little look at what we've done. Um, so this, normally a drawing like this without explaining would take me about 10 minutes or five minutes to just scribble out uh, subconsciously, which is what you can see I've done here with this one, mm -hmm. okay? Not as detailed, not as, not as informative. As it stands, we've spent 40 minutes talking about it, Tim, so that you can understand it, okay? Ooh. So you've had 40 minutes of detailed step-by-step -step lecturing on why each and every body part has, is moving at what different space between the two keys and at what arc, okay? You're not going to find that anywhere else. Just thought I'd rub that in for you. <laughs> okay, right. Let's have a little look at this okay. and see what we have. Okay, so we see that coming here like this. That's coming up mm -hmm. like that. And we have that sudden movement. So you see, 
the little head dip the little head dip the little hair okay the little hair 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 ruffle yeah and the, and the little tail point and the arm drag of the arms coming up the hips really create the weight uh, that bring that snap to life it's not some robotic kind of snap okay. some click that's what i call modern software animation yeah. they click into place you know they mm -hmm. they smoothly move and then at a slow pace and then snap snap crackle pop animation that's what i call it they just click into place they don't have this kind of sophistication you want to be a sophisticated animator you learn mm -hmm. real animation that's, a, that's what i say right so let's go on and let us lock this down okay so we have uh, spent a long time explaining that so now i'm going to switch to bitmap layer and some of you who are watching me uh, okay. do this um without instruction or just streaming for you all uh, were able to see me do this uh joining me on the live stream but I'm going to talk you through it a little bit. Okay, okay. okay. So now let's talk about these. I've done all the hard work of working out my thing. Now I would do it a lot looser like this, okay? But that's normally when I do my brain work, okay? okay. Now's the kind of time brain when work. you can just uh, listen to music um, and be a brainless person. Be a brainless person. Work. Again, this is where the beginners get it wrong. They think this is what makes the animation good, okay? The drawing skill. Of course, it makes it look nice, but it doesn't do all this. It, all this. All the stuff that you've just been listening to me explaining is not really the drawing so much. It's probably about 20% drawing and 80% animation. Now we're doing 80% drawing and 20% animation. Okay? This is a refinement process. So now, I'm going to come here and I'm going to... Let's pattern the brush up just a touch. And let's go in here and let's make our shape so i'm gonna just keep an eye on the shape and now as i'm looking at this shape i'm now thinking about what it is okay, okay. before i wasn't i knew what it was and yeah but now i'm thinking about contouring it okay let's imagine that if 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 it if she had like legs and hips it would probably be like that okay so we're contouring that. Alright, we're contouring. We want to come in around here. I wonder if you can pick that up on the screen. Yes, you are. We want to come in around here and we want to like um, really come around and think about the the shape. We really, you know, see uh, Don Bluth and John Pomeroy used to say, kiss the drawing. You see, that's what we want to do. We want to kiss the drawing to really feel the, the, the roundness and the weight of that. So now here, as I'm coming here, I can see that there's a problem with my line. So I'm just going right. to bring it in, in here, in, in with this, so I can get my construction of my, um, my collar nicely. Now as I'm doing this round shape, I want to think, I don't just want to make a triangle like this, okay? I want to really imagine, really imagine the, the curve and the, the the roundness of the the flesh if you want to call it she's got fur but it's being treated like flesh there of fleshy fat chin coming around that collar like that um, and I'm going to just put the button in there and keep an eye I'll keep an eye on the other one as well but I'm working mainly from flipping this one um, works either way but I like to favor one drawing more than the other with the body on a half it doesn't matter Okay, it doesn't matter. So now I'm going to think about this back collar. I'm going to bring it around the back like this. I'm going to come in here and think about the the way it's going to connect. I'm going to bring this around here like this, and I'm going to bring this on like that. Okay, and come around here like this. And there, I'm going to look at that. Yeah, that works. I'm kind of happy with that. And whether or not the hand is covering it, I don't care. I'm going to come in here and make my round of my body. Just to keep an eye on that. So 
there we are. So now I'm going to just turn on my light box just to keep an eye on the skirt because we need to keep it contained so within the framework the of the line. Me? It can't go, uh, it can't go beyond. Bit, so sometimes I will huh? turn that on just to keep a look, a look out. So that's, that's looking good to me. That's looking good to me. Okay? Okay. So now the arm, let's just have a look at this. So I don't need to really care too much about other, I need to keep an eye on the volume. I can do that through flipping like this. Um, so I'm going to come here. Uh, we can see the shoulder in here. Whoopsie, I've drawn on my, um, I've drawn on my this image, which is no good. So we can see the, uh, we can see the shoulder on this one, so I'm going to just have an eye, keep an eye on this one, probably a little bit more so than the than the previous one. So I'm going to look at that now. Now I'm uh, I'm going to look at the top arm <coughs> of the arm and put it here. Now I'm going to switch and I'm going to see on this and say, well, maybe we can put a crease in here okay. to match with that and put that in there. So that's this is helping me keep an eye on this one, like this. And then here, the hand shape is, I'm, I'm at liberty, really. Um, I can just go, just open those hand shapes, make sure they're clearly defined. I'm at liberty to do that. So that's okay. So we're keeping an eye on that one. Similarly here, I'm in complete, you know, I can look at this. So I'm going to look at between these two. Oh, the Swedish um, girl is posting here, her vlogs. Really, um, keep an eye on the <coughs> shapes. Okay, so this one is coming here like this. I'll soften them with the black. I like to work hands quite quite uh, graphic because it just helps figure, figure them out. So I'll have this one. Like break this one just off there like Kay. that. So we have something like this. And what I'm going to do, actually, it seems like a nice idea to break that to help the drawing. But if we look at that end hand pose, it's doing, it's coming down in a curve like that, like that. And if I look at that, I'm curving it like that, which is no good. It's a nice drawing. So you see, sometimes the tendency to want to be a draftsman for, for that one drawing, you've got to understand that these right. drawings are... That's straight out of Richard Williams. <laughs> Okay, they both uh -huh. work. So I'm going to play it safe and I'm going to do that. Okay? Uh -huh. So that's 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 something that has to be done. <laughs> now this thumb is going to come here like this. And I'm going to just curl it around like that to give me the shape of that. And I'm going to create that graphic line there. Now from here I'm going to come in under here with a curved line like there we go. We can introduce that hand shape like that. Working absolutely perfect. There we are. Um, so now, uh, let's, before I go on to the head, I love no, 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 no. I'm <laughs> going to just do the tail. So I'm going to look at this tail. I don't need to look at the end tail. Okay. Because it's shooting out from this one, really. So I'll just look at this one and I'll just think about that shape. So this one here is bunched together. So I'll maybe open that out a little bit, and I'll open that one out, and I'll open that one. So they're all resting on that, like there. So that's coming up. This is coming up, like that. Now I'll think about splitting this one open, okay? Uh, there's, there's a little line joining the two of them together, and... Yeah, this is really there's cool. A, there's a thing at the bottom. I'll just put a big shape here like this, and I'll put another line in there. We can do that. We can introduce a line, and we can break this one out just a little here okay. like that. That'll give us a nice shape to join it into that end one. Okay. Now we want to think about this. It's curling around. It's got a separation there. And this one's got a separation up here. And so this is like stylized like stylism. That. And we can have that like that. Now we want to curl this. We want this to weird. have the separation. I would go with this way. Like this. And another he's one. Going like this. Oh, he's going this. He's going that Doesn't matter. Way. We want to just favor this <coughs> one here. So that's how we get it. We don't need to worry too much. Okay? It's going to go into that one, you see? Just like that. Okay. Um, 
Okay. So From now, fairly decent to trash? Are you kidding me? Face, okay? So now we're going to really start thinking about bringing our face in line with this one. Now I'm wanting to refer to this, although the head is the downward arc, I'm wanting to refer more to this face because it's on a half, but I want to kind of favor the expression of this one. So I need to think about that. So I've roughed out, I've made a rough map of where things are to help okay. me with my, with my quick rough. And now um, I'm going to just go in there and define the eyes and really think about making this work. Okay, so I need to I don't know the if there are a lot of good animators anymore, honestly. <laughs> this guy is like, yeah, but I there's a lot of good animators. I don't know. I feel like a lot of machines have taken over. <laughs> I feel like good animators kind of we need to think about where the eyes faded are. off so the eye or got sucked or into machines. I like this. So eyes floating around the I actually like Harry Par Partridge though. I think he's decent. So I need to really keep an eye on that. Now I need to keep an eye on the eyebrows. So I'm going to have a, a raise, like this. That's not quite as raised. And one on the other side, like this. So there we are. That's coming through there, and I'm going to cut that in with a little bulge there. The eyelashes are easy. We'll do them, okay. and we blacken it. OK? This is very like Preston so Blair. Now the eye mask is going to come under hair and over and we're going to have a this slightly down angle happen. so we need to bear that in mind now this is the middle so we're going to halfway just go one two three like that that'll give us the that okay. portion really now we need to think about the nose model. okay this is so, so before model. i do the nose i'm going to think about the angle of this this the the actual snout area like this and then i'm going to think about the nose Okay, so we're going to have a downwards angle, okay, very slight, not too much, not a big one. Now that nose is a little bit big, I need to keep an eye on it there like that. Keep I need to do more live drawing classes, okay. seriously. I'm going to just make sure that my nose, actually I'm going to look okay. more at this nose to help me with the nose on there. I'm going to think about that, think about the angle, maybe put a little line on top to help me figure out the angle of that nose. Right, and we'll, we'll lock it when we, when we black it in, we'll bring it in a little bit. Right, so now we want to think about the mouth, okay? We're opening that. Let's have a look at the mouth here, okay? So we'll have the tongue and the... shape of the bottom lip. So now we want to think about the head, okay, the, the cheek mask, okay, which is going to come here like this, and this side thing. So this is coming through here, and now I want to think about it. It's going to go straight around here like this, and this cheek mask is going to be less on this side like this. Like I hate it when the Wacom tablet is a le less responsive on this upper frame that I'm favoring. Right, so this is going to come here like this. Like this. Okay, that's good. Now we want to look at this one, which is just going to come round. So now I'm going to think about the bunching. One. I'm like so two, off model. Oh, three, I hate it. Four. Uh, one, two, like three, four. Dorky. 80s bow looking thing. There we go. Now we think about it on the other side. Just one, two, three. So we're gonna the one, Kyle probably loves. Two, you got to really roll it here. Three. And look at that. So we got that. So you see we change the angle like that and we come up. We favor that head okay. there like that. So the nose, that little down in the nose snout really adds to it. Right. So what I am going to do is 
bring it in just a little bit because that snout is feeling a little bit long. So I'm going to turn off my um, going to turn off my uh, layer under layer because it's guiding me too much, and I'm just going to change that just a little bit. That's better. So that sits well within both of them. Right. So now I'm going to look at the ears and the bow tie. So let's have a look at this ear here. Let's turn on the light box. Just to, we can really just kind of just use these shapes. These are quite easy. Old Mickey Mouse effect gives that floating ear, but we can. That cheat works. I need to pay attention to my shape. Just need to come around like this. You see, when you look at the light box, you never get the shape. You're right. Okay. That's so true. This is going to be more like that. So I'm going to favor this ear okay. more than the other one. And then it'll open out the from that. So this one's going to come here like this. All right. Favor that ear. Or actually, because it's a down angle. So are you going to make the burger know. later? Yeah. Okay. I should actually favor this higher one a little bit more. Okay. So you see. You've always got to be critical of what you're doing. So I'm looking, flipping. Sort of like Hanna Barbera and Justin Blair, okay. I think. Because some of this is sort of like Yogi I'll Bear looking. This like this part here. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. That works. Now the bow tie. Again, I'm going to favor the. I'm going to favor this one because it's closer to this. I'm going to look at that. And have that there like this. <coughs> and this one on this side. So completely analytical stuff. Now this okay. this one again, I'm gonna favor this, but I'm just gonna just open it. So one, two, open, three, open, then we're gonna have this, four, and then we're gonna open that five and open people that shadows. Up. Let's turn that off. Okay. So what we have is we have locked down. Uh, oh, I don't know about that. We have locked down that in between that we worked at. So we have gone from animation to drawing, um, doing that. So you can see how it just works. So I'm going to black it in. So you just just to just for the stream. Um, but you've pretty much seen the whole process now. You've, you've looked at the whole step-by-step -step process. Mm -hmm. What I will do just before, just after I black it in very quickly, is then I will then cover the uh, process of once more of the spacing, just to recap. Um, the blacking in won't take too long at all. Let's just uh, put this hair. Let's focus on the eye, eye, eyes, okay? So there's four hair like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, and on this one. One, two, three, four. You just have an eye model, really. And now we have a bit of lid on there just to emphasize the opening. And when I slow in, I might have her do another blink because I like old school Disney, yeah. I think. Uh, and I love the old double blink, the Milk Carl double blink. Oh, um, double blink. Especially you see that in Sword in the Stone with Sir Hector and Kay. Um, so definitely I, I might want to throw that in there. I did, so yeah, I didn't know that. I did not know that. A flip and roll uh, on the face, because um, that's the one that's really, really the consistent. But then I'll just kind of just eyeball the rest of it in Kay. black. So we just want to really secure this face, because if I was to give this um, for cleaning up, you know, even if I was going to clean it, clean it up myself. I like to get it to the effect in my lockdown drawings where where it's really hard. The hard work has been done. You see, some people think tracing is easy. Okay, well, what you've seen me do um, is trace my own drawing. Okay, to put it onto model, and it's actually that's that's another skill that an animator has to have. So a lot of people watch movies like Lord of the Rings by Ralph Bakshi, for example. And they, oh, they, yeah. they ignorantly say, that's cheating, that's, that, that, that's rubbish, that's no good. Now, some of the, the, the big orc battle scenes, I can understand maybe why they might say that, because that's such a difficult thing to trace and 
rotoscope that you know they just put some filters and over the live action really but um but for a lot of the movie and for his other movies like fire and ice and for the less battle scenes in lord of the rings they do it is all rotoscoped and it is all threats but a lot of it but you see they have to put those characters onto the model of the the cartoon design uh if you look at the actor john hurt who played aragorn son of arathorn he looks nothing like similarly the actors who played uh, the baggins and all of them the, uh, they were dressed in costume but they don't look really the features facial features and so there's a skill they have to they literally like it's true the animators weren't really like a high grade disney animators but they were they were really good assistants and really good uh, people who knew how to um, keep things on model um, and trace basically because what you've seen me do is you've seen me make a tracing. I'm just okay. going to I'm just going to heavy this in just to emphasize this. You've seen me make a tracing of this drawing, okay? But I've turned it into this, okay? With the tracing, it's it's tracing, okay? So. That's another thing that you need to work on. And a lot of, again, a lot of people trying to learn on YouTube, you know, the freebie fools and the, the, freebie the, the people who just think they're going to get through life watching uh, teenagers teaching on YouTube. Okay, maybe not that. Um, the freebie they've got fools. the mentality that tracing is somehow a skill uh, that they're above and that tracing is something that they shouldn't do. Well, there's an art to it, and it's a, it's a, it's a highly defined skill. And there are lots of animators that cannot do what some of the assistants uh, can do. Um, but that's that's generally like not really the case in a big uh, in, in in a super talent studio like like the old uh, hand drawn Disney DreamWorks Don Bluth, uh, because the assisting is a very time consuming. super fast and do this but I know um, and no young man you haven't got your animation down you don't even know the 12 laws your animation down you just want to draw or your anime that's all you want to oh yeah yeah I can animate but I don't know how to do that yeah no you can't animate I'm sorry to break it to you but you Some of the people don't like the way I talk. <coughs> Lecture. It is designed. It is. Things I don't. Film drama, seriously. Filming drama. And do as I say. And we are almost coming to the recap of the spacing. And then we're going to call, uh, call a day to this lecture because I am now just reinforcing the awesomeness of the library because I'm tracing the drawing. 
So okay. we're almost at the end of the end with this lecture. Okay. Um, let's just send this in and then we'll go on to the recap. Okay. This comes around here like this. Let's turn this over. Come around here. Okay. Almost done. It's like landing up on a plane. You're just waiting. You know, you've, you've been on a 20 fl hour flight, uh, but the last five minutes is harder. <laughs> right, okay, we're done. We done. Okay. 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 So that's it, okay? All right. Almost, yeah, we're <clears throat> done. Right, okay. So that is the, uh, the frame done. Um, so you can see the, you can see the weight to the acting there now. So she turns and she's like, um, she reacts into that. So it's so quick and so subtle, like that little head dip, okay? That mm -hmm. little head dip. It's so quick, the, the art into this, okay? And the, the drag of the hands coming up into that, you know? It's so quick but it really makes a difference. And the offset, this, this one being on a half. So we're gonna talk about the spacing one more time, okay? One more time, please, so let's do that. So this lecture has been uh, titled Breakdowns with Variable Spacing. It's a real animator you, a training lecture. What you have watched me do, okay? You have watched me break down be uh, between these two key frames, okay? These two extreme frames, I should say, okay? And I've put in one here, and I would actually consider calling this a key, even though by my standards it's a breakdown. But I would call it a key, and I'd break it down further and give it to my assistants so they don't struggle, okay? But, like, these are two extreme drawings, because it's here extreme down, extreme up, okay? Key in the middle, but... It's a breakdown as far as I'm concerned, okay? Um, so this thing goes, it, it's, it's making a, uh, it might appear to be just a drawing in between the two, but let's look at what's happening. Let's analyze the movement. Okay. okay. So if we look at <sighs> this body here, okay? So let's get a big heavy black and draw that body mm -hmm. in there. And we look at this body here, we get a big heavy red and draw that body in there. And now we look at our body, we will notice, okay, that it is halfway in between. So if we were numbering this as X and this as Y, the body is halfway. Okay, and it's on a fairly linear standard R. Okay, so okay. that's our body. Okay, but we can't really, we didn't really have everything on a half when we were timing it like that. So let's look at something else. Let's look at the head. Okay, <coughs> so if we look at our head here, so let's put our head in this kind of shape. Okay, let's just put the nose there, just to emphasize that. Then we'll look at our um, our head hair. Okay, so let's get the red. And this is a challenge to try and see this, but I'm gonna try. So let's go and put that there, and put that around here like that. And let's put the nose there. Okay, so now let's look at what we have. Okay, our head is on a half. It is in the middle. Okay. Okay, it is in the middle. Okay, but look at the arc of the nose. Okay, so the body was a fairly straightforward arc, and the head is on a half too. Okay, but the arc of that nose is dipping. We're putting a dip on the head. So that's going to affect a few things to do with the head. So let's keep looking at this, okay? What else is involved in the head? Well, the face is all kind of on half, 
by the looks of it. Yeah, the mouth is on a half, the eyes are kind of on a half, okay. the ears are on a half. Oh. But what about this hairstyle and this bow tie? Okay. Now, because her head is looking down, let's have a look at the um, position of the bow tie here. Okay, on frame X, and then the position of the bow tie of the I was shot in the bottle. So I don't know why I thought of <laughs> on frame Z. Aha! Uh -huh. But now let's look at the position of the hairstyle on frame Z. Okay? It is. Okay, so this is X, this is Z, it's not on a half, okay, so we're going to have to look at it in thirds, it is one third of the way between the two, so if we had another one here, let's draw that in a, um, let's pick out this, this mm -hmm. one here, so if we had another one here, it'll be two thirds, that'll be this one here, okay, so just to kind of help you understand that, that's one third of the way. So that is where our one third y is going to be. Okay, so we have got a slight deviation here, and the hairstyle is the same. Okay, the hairstyle is the same. So let's continue. Let's do another easy one. Okay, let's look at the tail. Okay, so the tail of x on the tail of y the tail of x and the tail of y okay and then we'll look at the tail the, of z sorry okay. and the tail of y is here why 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 do you look okay here we go we look at the arc like this Okay. But as okay. we ascertained okay. earlier, okay, okay, the tip is here, okay. Actually, the arc is like this. Uh -huh. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. Okay, too busy thinking of Tom Jones. Okay, so let's concentrate. Okay, so if we look at the if we um, look at the arc, and the tip of this tail is here, the tip of this tail here, the tip of this tail mm -hmm. here, we all have ascertained that that's on a half. Okay. So that's on a half. Okay? So that is on Yeah, that's on a half. But you're also talking but about thirds. But we also have to understand that it's not just halving up. It is arcing. So okay. we're getting the tail extending and shooting out. Right. Okay? We're not just moving up uh, between hair and hair. Okay? I'm just moving up. It's extending out. Like mm -hmm. So now we want to look at the hands. Okay? So, we're going to look at um, the hand on the hip hair, and the hand up hair, and we're going to look at the hand on the up hair there, and this hand on this hip hair like this. Uh, oopsie. Right. Let's, let's do that. So, Let's have a look. Now this hand is here. So if we had X and Z, this hand is Y is one third of the way between the two. Okay? If we had another one, it'll be like one third is here, one third is here, there, okay. there. That's the third chart. Okay? Uh, let's just make that clear for you. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? Right. So one third is where it is. Now we want to think about this one. Okay? Well, that's easy, isn't it? Okay? So this this hand, X and Z, is on a Y. It's <laughs> X and Z is on a Y. X, Y, Z, Y is on a half. Okay? So they, I love watching my so audience. So we have the offset. Okay. okay. So we're both. They just want a so mental so masturbation. So we're in the offset. So we're offsetting okay. one Separate the third and half. Separate the You 38 people in the, in the crowd, mwah, real animators, all each and every one of you. Okay. 
Right, so this thing goes like this. So let's uh, delete that. Okay. And now let's focus on the elbow here. Just because this hand is happening like this, we might be tempted to make the elbow do that. Okay? That's not the case. <laughs> okay? So we want to look at the elbow. Okay? Use the elbow. That's what it's there for. Okay. 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 That's what I, I remember one Thai boxing instructor telling somebody that in a movie. Okay, so this elbow was is that, like that. Was that? Right? What's the, what was that? The was that best of the best? The elbow right. thing? I can't remember. And if we look at our elbow, use the elbow. That's what it's there for. Elbow. <laughs> right? So if we look at that elbow and we put our little drawing like this, one, two, we will see that it is two thirds of the way down. So X and Z and Y. Okay? Wasn't that a film in the 80s? Wasn't that a Martial Arts film? And Edson? of course, if we had Taekwondo another film there, you'll I see don't know, that the elbow is <laughs> one third of the way could be there. We, you know, we could bring it coming around. You know, just or was it over the top? That's like a Stallone so film where that. he's like arm wrestling. Really? Whatever. Whatever, I don't know. I don't remember. no stream signal well now what happened all right let's see what's on my registry Ugh. there's something still in the computer I need to get rid of still something in there oh, I don't know stream there we go uh, one another yes damn it oh well that is done uh, in charts. I have just. Oh, that's not really doing anything either. Oh, boy. I started to draw charts. Oh, it's apparently. Let's see what else do I have. That's not supposed to be on. Purely like that on those terms. On, on about everything so when you're an, uh, a it. real animator an animator of a, uh, a high level of a high standard you generally um, all the time subconsciously think in terms of variable spacing so variable spacing is extremely important all right, something uh, is messing animation, with your room good animation and i'm not sure what good animation this has been quite an advanced lecture but it will be not going in the advanced archive it will be going in the random pick up and play archive of the real animator training library. You have been watching this lecture, some of you, and it's probably gone over a lot of your heads, but some of you will be thinking, I need to know this stuff. I've never been showed stuff like this. I've never been taught this way. God, that guy is irritating. Oh, come on! mentioned again dang it i'm not even on discord right now design an animation 
information analysis archive. We have around about... Ah! Okay, close that. That's working. I thought I have to mount this on my camera frame. Design. Um, you also have the Ask AMB archive where we've got 49 episodes of asking me random quick fire questions. Now, the real stuff is the courses within this archive. We have a basics archive, which you can start from the very beginning, uh, 36 to 37, probably 36 videos um, of uh, oh, animation right. basics, just focusing on timing, arcing, uh, and uh, squat and stretch, and uh, slowing in and slowing out. You cover all, uh, you cover six different walk cycles spanning over 24 videos, um, head turns, uh, standard and varied, <laughs> uh, bouncing balls, jumping balls, swinging pendulums, pendulums uh, spinning, pendulums with weight, all the kind of stuff that you're going to really need to know if you want to move any further in this place and go on to the intermediate archive where you uh, start to learn how to draw the flower sack. We're covering the laws of animation uh, in greater depth here, the law of squash and stretch, the law of anticipation, the law of follow through and overlap, the law of straight ahead and pose to pose the law of uh, timing, the law of secondary and primary action. Um, and we will be uh, resuming this archive with the law of uh, staging very soon. Um, and then you have the advanced course where you don't really follow along to these courses. You can't really, it's so advanced. You just, you'll be at the level now where it's you can so watch advanced. what I'm doing and interpret it into your own things. It has to be made clear when you study from the intermediate and basics archive, you don't deviate you follow along you copy what i do you study the video you take notes okay. and you copy everything okay. until you can do it exact um in the advanced archive you're not going to copy my dialogue you're not going to copy my character design you're going to have to uh use your own skills that you will have developed working your way through this archive and interpret we have 10 part course on dynamic perspective animation five part course on dialogue and we have a couple of creature animations in here too uh, that's the advanced archive, probably a little bit too much for most of you. Um, we have the drawing and anatomy archive. At, at the moment, I'm going to rename this the complete human skeleton. You have 30, 40, well, 36, 37. 37 videos are just on the complete entire human skeleton from an animator's perspective. Uh, drawing it, animating it, understanding the joints. How do you do them in 360 degrees rotations? This is the most thorough place that you're ever going to learn animation. I know that for a fact because I have people who have been to CalArts, people who have been to Sheridan, people who have been to Full Sail, people who have been to the Arts Institute in Pittsburgh, people who have been to other uh, California institutes, uh, there's not just CalArts, who have joined uh, this uh, training library and messaged me uh, and written testimonials and uh, about and also some of these guys who are giving their verbal testimony ooh, ooh. about how this thing has really changed their lives, turned it around, and uh, also more importantly, um, some of these students who've been to some of these courses have paid ten times the price of my library at the very least, and one hundred and seventy times the price of my library at the very most. So that puts things in perspective for you. You're getting uh, the, some of the best, if not the best, animation um, education available for the price of a, a gaming habit on a, a, on, on a budget. Forbes magazine uh, recently did a survey uh, by Bloomberg that um, basically established that uh, gamers, gamers on average annually spend around about $17,000 a year. Now that's shocking. But then if you look into you it, uh, the kids? average gamer <laughs> doesn't actually spend 17000 That That's the finding of a Bloomberg survey, but a lot of them got corners and get access to their games in other ways. So I, I did a bit more digging, and there was a guy on a website, a financial, financial um, analyst on a website, I think it was called M MOV or something, make use of it, make use it, make use of it dot com. He uh, did research, conducted a research into how, how to survive your gaming habits uh, on a budget, uh, if you're on a shoestring budget. And he brought it all the way down from $17,000 to 
to only 1200 so $1,200 for a entire year the average gamer spends. So I don't game at um, all. Uh, really, uh, people like to say about real animator training, I've deliberately priced it. You can have a lifetime membership to this place for the price that a, ga that a gamer on a budget would spend a year on his habit. So you can have the best animation education for 2D available. Uh, lifetime membership for one year's habit of gaming. So it really is an about I, I, I do actually not about understand. Priorities. I can't relate. So I anybody don't really game. who's seriously dedicated to their <laughs> uh, animation, uh, making something happen with their animation course, you know what to do. Click this green thing here and sign up. Okay, that's that. So I'm going to stop the uh, stream there and I'm going to just visit the chat and have a little uh, hang out with you just for a little while before I go off and do my um... All right, Geek Design, no, it's a lifetime It's Whee! a lifetime membership The library is currently on a lifetime membership Oh my god, it's it forever, But it is currently on a lifetime membership um, Okay AMB, are you hiring by any chance? I will be. I will be. But here's the thing, Philip. I will be hiring. Uh, I'm, pro I'm gonna be using some of my people, inner circle people, at first, probably, because uh, because they've been working with me for a little while, mm -hmm. and they uh, some of sense. them are getting to standard. And when, when when that comes up, I'm gonna be thinking of them, because because obviously we know each other. We built a relationship. Well, that, yeah, that makes sense. They I mean, understand my my ethic. That makes the way sense. It works. That makes so. sense. See, I mean, that's awesome. Philip Chandra, by the way, is a, is a pro. So um, that's another benefit you have coming on to um, coming on to uh, coming on to um, my streams. So you can draw on them and ask them. Uh, Commodore, maybe you don't, but it's out there. Google it. Google it. Look at Cora. Look at um, Forbes magazine, Bloomberg. Some of the most redu reputable financial publications out there. You know, um, go Google it. So that's the data. Okay, it's not. It's I. I, lo I love having. I love having facts to back up my statement. Yeah. But uh, you know, it's it's more about you know, Commodore. You said a brilliant thing the other day, and you were absolutely right. The real animator training is is not really about the price. It's about the mindset of the people entering it. You know, I deliberately put that price at a deterrent. As a deterrent, I don't want uh, certain people who aren't committed to their animation joining. I don't want them joining my project uh, library because it's not going to help the both of us. They're not going to get results because they, they they're not really if they if they're umming and eyeing about a deal like that. They don't really trust themselves to commit to anything. You know, they want something easy and safe and something like gaming, you know, to get them out of the mundane life. They don't really trust themselves, so why are they going to trust me? But then even if they kind of fight it and try to get on board, they're not going to get any results because of that attitude. And then they're going to tarnish my reputation by not really doing any good work or getting any real results. So I deliberately price it like that as a deterrent to keep what I call, as I say, I name it what it is named, the real animator training library. It's for people, it's for people who really want it. It's for people who absolutely, yeah, absolutely, Commodore. Yeah, that's why I took, no, you know, when you said that on the stream the other day, I'm like, you know what? That's the attitude to have. That's the right guy. He knows, at least he's honest with himself. And he knows where he's at. And that's exactly, it, it helps me from like saying the things I'm saying now. It's like, it's not nice to say, I don't want your custom. I don't want your, I, I don't want you in my library. But the, the fact that is, if you don't have the ability to commit, then I'm, you know, I wouldn't yeah. feel nice taking your money. Because yeah. ultimately the, the people who really want the people can get to this level. It's not going to be easy. It's not. But you have to have dedication and commitment. And most people are going to want to, most people commit to completing a video game, but they can't quite commit to doing this kind of stuff. 
So it's like I've deliberately said, well, it's a thousand up front, thousand UK up front. That's a year of your gaming habit. That's a year, you know, that's a year, 1200 is what, is what that uh, financial analyst brought, got a gamer on a budget down to, you know, uh, after looking at that four, Forbes magazine uh, thing, which said it was a shocking 17 grand. I didn't even believe that myself, but that's a, whatever. So he said, okay, then, well, okay, even on a budget, I price it like that on purpose because I know that they're going to, they're going to, they, they like their playtime is essentially more important to them than their pastime. Their pastime, they don't, you know, they call it their life's passion, but actually their life's passion is just to play. And that's cool. Enjoy. It's fine. Great. Absolutely. You can hang out on my streams. You can binge watch the stuff before it goes away forever in the library. Cool. Have fun. I don't, I don't have a problem. We're, 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 it's all great. But, so I, but I've deliberately just, like, I know they're not even going to bother. And that's another reason why I put the price like that. Just like, please, don't, don't, don't message me about how it's not working. What's not working is your attitude. Because I've seen people really do some amazing stuff with this work. I've seen people do some amazing stuff with, with the content of the library. Awesome, Paul. That sounds absolutely amazing. I'm an artist first and a cartoonist second. Absolutely. Artist, cartoonist, they're all expressions, uh, Paul. I mean, I don't, I don't judge one or the other, my friend. I respect them both. Um, Animation is like a trade. It's something you want to make part of your life. You do everything you can to learn it and make it part of your life. Absolutely. Philip is the man who's worked in the business back in the, you know, he's older than me to put things in perspective. Sorry to call you out on that. Um, sorry to call you out on that, um, Philip. But, but, but like it just puts it in perspective. But you need like 100k of dedication on your part. Probably. Probably. You know, people don't value. You see, people don't value. Like, if you value dedication, like 100k is peanuts, man. 100k is peanuts. If you, you're talking about your life. People got it wrong. People, people value themselves because society has committed people to value themselves on this, such a low hourly rate on their 9 to 5 job that they value themselves. That's uh, far lower than what they're worth. Each and every one of you is worth a hundred million in my eyes. That's what you should really think. It's difficult to get your head around that. But that's what, it's your life, man. It's your life. You ain't ever going to get it back. Yeah. You ain't ever going to get it back. You ain't ever going to get it back. Sketchy times. If you, if that image in your profile picture is your drawing, I don't know. Then it should 100k. You're worth so much more than 100k. Okay. So it's uh, it's amazing here. So um, I don't know how much euros is. It's a little. It's a little. <laughs> how much euros is my dedication? Um, I don't know. My dedication is priceless. Okay. Okay. Because like I'm I'm here chatting to you guys. I I can't put a price on it. It's priceless. When you when you want to talk about my dedication, it's not for sale. I would never sell it. It's what makes me who I am. Um, right, let's let's just quickly go and have a look at some of the people who are talking during the stream because I've I've got to kind of, I, I I'm going to be going in ten minutes to have my dinner and got to go to sleep and get up and train tomorrow. Um, that's when the mic was popping. Black Uni Griffon, how are you doing? Sean giving her a rose. What would Alicia say? Hmm? Thank you, Alex Star Animates. Um, ta -ta -ta. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at uh, Sean. Now, 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 Sean, giving a rose. Dear, oh, dear. Ark, arcing is one of the top principles. You mean laws. Um, arching. Yeah. Mr. Potato, what a cool name. What a cool name. Um, I don't know why I said that I'm bored. Um, okay, it's party time. Let's watch the drawing and roll out. Daniel Hugh, he's in a good mood today. 
It's really hard to earn money as an artist. Well, I guess if you think it's hard to earn money as an artist, then it will be. If you think it's easy, then it'll be easy. That's, uh, that's just the way I see it. Um, it's what you basically, you get what you are. People don't understand that. You, 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 you create the mind. The, 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 what happens in the metaphysical world happens in the physical world. Many of you have been about I try to act it out. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. If you don't think about it as work and making the money, then the art is easy. Keep in mind. Yeah, absolutely, Mr. Pot Mr. Potato's got a smart head on his shoulders. I think if you're ever going to run an animated show, you should never rush an episode or your animator is just a random thing I like to say. Man, parts of magic. Sean, Sean is the man. He, he's another professional. I love my stream graced by all these pros. TV animation is very rushed, unfortunately, where I have worked. It's rushed in general. TV animation is always rushed. It's been rushed even since the days of uh, uh, Gummy Bears, which was really high-level TV animation for the time. Um, uh, Thundercats, He-Man. Thundercats had that amazing intro, but the animation was Thunderpants. So, uh, you know... Um, it's always rushed. Um, absolutely, Akal. Absolutely. You guys are, are getting it, though. You're getting it. Mind to blend. He's online. Um, what is that? Ujimation, Ujimation, the man is online. How could I not have seen that? I was probably lecturing when that happened. Um, I thought of the magic one speaking reader's voice. From when I was a kid, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, somebody said it. You mentioned, you mentioned the man. Everybody, yeah, there it is. Um, I think sometimes mirror frames can help look more silly, in my opinion. Uh, but the thing would be better without a smear frame. Okay. Um, I, I highly advise against smears. Um, they smear your work. You know, they're appropriately named. Doing well, I'm just at the hospital. Oh, no, dear. Uh, hand surgery for a... Oh, I hope you're okay. The person is okay, you Jamaican. My uh, good wishes to you. Um, he likes to use his own timing rather than playing it through his timeline. It's all on one at the moment. Yeah, one second. Um, Timing is so important to learn early. Exactly, that's the first law I teach. Timing. That's the first law in the library. Which why if you look at this image here, the one right above his head, here, timing, is right at the top. And next to it, I've got slowing in and slowing out. Okay, on this side, I have the six laws of movement. And on this side, I have the six laws of life. Okay, that's the way I teach it. Six laws of movement, six laws of life combined to make the illusion of life. Uh, the six laws of movement, uh, timing, uh, slowing in and slowing out, arc, squash and stretch, pose to pose, follow through and overlapping action, and antis anticipation is moving into the laws of life, uh, solid drawing, primary and secondary action, exaggeration, appeal and staging, the laws of life. Um, Elizabeth, thank you so much. Um, awesome black unigriffon. But there's a lot of good animators. I tried to go over stuff and moving it. Yeah, that's a moving hold. Cuphead isn't bad, but I think people like don't realize. Maybe the younger generation don't realize. If you look at the old Sega Genesis, Aladdin and Mickey Mania, they had proper Disney animators working on them. 
And really, even though the uh, graphics are pixelated, they just run rings around Cuphead. Um, I like clean up. It's about understanding, and they have a lower frame rate, which it's all about. It's all about the keys and breakdown. They're literally just keys, extremes and keys and keys and breakdowns. Uh, those those 16-bit games. It's like clean up. It's about understanding line quality. Back in my Sheridan days, they wouldn't ever let us use the word tracing. Oh well. They would say it's not. We're learning to clean up. You see how <laughs> they're ashamed of the word tracing. Well, okay. You're following a trace, you know? How would I start? I made bouncing ball and walk cycle. Well, can you do the bouncing ball well enough? You know, do you know the difference between a bouncing ball and a jumping ball? Can you animate a pendulum swinging convincingly? Does it really look like it or are you just doing tests that you've seen some really rubbish people on YouTube who aren't even professional animators sharing, just sharing, it's like a, it's like a guy in a karate suit pretending he learns karate, sharing how to beat someone up. Doesn't know anything he's talking about. Just on YouTube. Because it's on YouTube, it doesn't validate it. That's so true. if your stuff looks like their stuff, then you need to really try and learn how to do a good bouncing ball um, and learn how to separate it from a jumping ball and a bouncing ball and move on to pendulum swinging. Um, and just because you've done them once, it doesn't mean that... Uh, you 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 should never do them again. Um, even if you're animating stick figures, bouncing ball will help you. Uh, the same with the walk cycle. Um, mm -mm. Use the elbow. That's what it's there for. <laughs> no, it was it was a, a dubbed film called Bruce Lee, The Man, The Myth, starting, starring a Bruce Lee impersonator called Bruce Lai. Um, a Thai boxer challenged him and he got beaten up and then he ran back and said, brother, come and help. Some Chinese guy, he beat me up. He got me so mad. And he said to him, you what about Thai boxing? And he said, I tried it, but it didn't work. Stop that lying boy. Use the elbow. That's what it's there for. <laughs> I love those old films. I absolutely love them. Um, I took sketch notes. I think when the character gets angry, she can hang it. Shalom Thorpe. Shalom Thorpe. This isn't timed out. These are just key extreme frames. So thank you for the suggestion, but your critique is null and void. Uh, null and void. I haven't even timed this out. These are just keys. Keys, I'm just starting to break it out. Break it down. Okay, do you want it to hang more when she gets angry? Let's press play. Okay? Let's press play. That's how it plays. Okay? These are just keys. Okay? This is real animator. Real animation. I'm not relying on the timeline as some crush to feel my way with the timing. Oh, do you think it needs this? <laughs> no. Sorry, pal. This is real animator training. We know what we're doing in our head first. We time it out. We in between it later. We don't animate along the way and think what we're doing. So thank you, but no thank you. Um, yes, I am being harsh to the person critiquing my work because I'm the pro giving the lecture here. Let's not forget that, okay? And I have to establish that. And I'm not, if you think that you, you know better, then think again, because you don't know what you're talking about. You don't even know the process here. You don't even know what I'm doing. You don't even know. Maybe when I've timed it out and finished it, you can call it crap to try and get vengeance on me. So just wait for your chance then, okay? Right. Um, AMB dropping tooth bombs like nukes. nukes. You rant a bit too much. Yes. And if you don't like it, you can leave. This brings back a lot of memory. As I said, I'm not here to win fans. I'm here to bring truth. The bringer of truth has no... Um, is, is not interested in what feels nice. I'm here to make difference and change into people's lives. Okay? Um... I've helped people get jobs 
I've helped people um, charge more for their commissions. I've helped people really make a difference with their animation. I've changed people's lives by being on here, being exactly the way that I am. And you know what? I'm going to keep doing that. And it enriches me. So, yeah, I will boast and I will rant till the cows come home. Mm. He's that like, oh, Muhammad Ali. Home. Okay. This brings back I'm a lot so of memories. If I had a <laughs> bloody so time. Pretty. I'd like to do full motion. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own jokes. Ah, the one, the one AMB Walt, yeah. Walt Disney Mentor Online. Are you hiring by chance? Okay, you paid much for your course. From 89 and 92, it was a hell of a lot cheaper for a three year program. You can see back in 1980s and 9 and 1982, he paid 10 times the price of the library. Um, Jeez. Okay, there we go. AMB, what's the best way to maintain different spacing on body parts when you don't have much time for animation? It's just as I said, you've got to work more at it, Dev, Dev Rod, till it becomes intuitive. So you, if I was you, I would really, really think, just do keep animating. And But if you really know you're bouncing balls and you're swinging pendulums, then you start to just think of everything like that, okay? Um, that's the way it works. If I stream, someone wants to ask something while you're drawing, I'm open. Awesome. Um, Okay, I remember talking through all of this stuff. Um, uh, it's hard to find a boss that agrees I'm worth. Well, then be your own boss. Exactly. I'll tell you my biggest mistake was stopping. I regret it terribly. I, I agree. If I can get the money through work, I'll know I deserve it and join. Awesome. Well, as I said, you it's, it's all down to your level of commitment. You know? You know. You know. What, what you need to do um, and whether whether it's for you or not so that's also my Halloween animation is coming awesome stop grinding we are learning the bouncing ball Freddy more awesome I love Freddie Fred Moore, Moore. Is one of the best awesome love Fred Brilliant. Moore um, he is here to teach thanks for the free knowledge a hello here from Brazil awesome thanks for the coming at you from Salem MA fantastic Thank you very much. We have made it to the end of the stream. Uh, it has been an awesome lecture. It has been an absolute joy um, animating all this stuff for you just like that. Um, and by the way, Shalom Thorpe, you see how this is linearly going down like this? Okay? Linear spacing, because it will be spending a long time in that angry pose. Right. So that's how that works. Who's in Salem? Uh, this is Paul Christophoros. Awesome name. It sounds a bit like a little bit of Greek, Greek in there. It's just my ignorance, maybe, just because I associate names like that with Greece. But uh, awesome. Anyway, thank you very much, everyone. Um, keep on working hard. And I'll see you whenever I stream next. Maybe it'll be a lecture. Maybe I'll just <laughs> uh, continue working. So, see you later, everyone. Bye-bye. Uh, and that's the end of that. <sighs> All right. So I can find this dude. Damn it, why do you end it so quick? <gasps> There is a dude over at the animator in Salem. Okay. And that's it. That's it.
isn't the greatest at the moment. All right. Actually, uh, lighting is coming in this way, so, so, maybe not the best lighting scheme, but whatever. Actually, don't really like this very much. All I already shot the picture, but whatever. Yeah, let's do another one.
So did you do Drawtober yet? Alright, I just did mine. Oh, okay. So I did it. The uh, Drawtober today is the Witch Frog, so I did it. Like, I don't... I don't want this to be huge, big, like, giant, like, like, I just, it's something fun to do, it's something I want to do, and just something, like, to do, so, and it gets me drawing, and that's what I need to do, um, to me, that's the challenge, not the, be the best ever, make a masterpiece every day, and die of exhaustion, no, I'm not into that, <laughs> Oh, come on, the virus is back? What the heck? This is, this is taking me off. Yeah, I got the virus back again. Where the heck did it come from? All right, we're done with this for now.